What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again with a Latte Panda Alpha and I wanna do another external GPU experiment. So in my last video, I attached a GT1030 to this thing and it did a pretty good job. But a lot of people wanted to see how it performed with the 1050 Ti, so here we go. Before we get started, if you're not familiar with the Alpha, I've done several videos on it. I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description. Real quick, I'll go over the specs here. This is a very small x86 single board computer. For the CPU, we have an Intel M3 Dual Core 7Y30 at 1 GHz, but it does turbo up to 2.6. 8 GB of DDR3 1867 MHz RAM soldered to the board. And the stock GPU is an Intel HD615 up to 900 MHz. Now it does a good job at 720p on low settings, but we need a little more out of this thing. And luckily, we are able to add a PCIe X4 adapter to the M.2 slot so we can add an external GPU. I did pick up an extension cable so I could kind of move this thing around if I want to, but I find that just slapping the GPU in the PCI X4 slot right there on the Latte Panda works fine also. I will need to add external power to this PCI X4 adapter. The 1050 Ti doesn't have any kind of power inputs. It takes everything from the PCI slot. So we do need some extra juice here because it's only running from an M.2 key. So if you want to learn more about the Latte Pan and how this is set up, check out my other videos. Links are in the description. So first up, I ran the Heaven benchmark, we're at high settings DX11. The stock GPU scored a 226, the 1030, 696, and the 1050 Ti, 1848. So we have a big gain there, and I knew it would, I mean we got a better GPU in this thing. The next benchmark I ran was 3D Mark Night Raid. The 1050 Ti scored an 11,458. So I'm not really a chart guy, I like to get into gameplay and see how this thing really performs. That's what I'm going to do now. This is Doom. We're at medium settings, 1080p. Resolution scale is set to 100%. And I'm using the OpenGL backend. I have Afterburner running up in the top left hand corner. That's going to give us our current FPS, our minimum, and our average. We're averaging 80 FPS. And with the stock Intel HD615, same exact settings, we got 12 FPS. With the GT1030, we got 47 FPS. I also wanted to test the Vulcan back in. Now I tested it with the GT1030 and it didn't perform well at all, but with the 1050 Ti, we got a 97 FPS average, which is 17 FPS over OpenGL. This is more than playable. We could even go to high settings and get a constant 60. I'm 100% sure of it. I went ahead and ran the Injustice 2 benchmark. This is 1080p high, stock 11. The GT1030 was struggling at high settings. We only got 43 FPS, but the 1050 Ti paired with the Alpha got a solid 59 FPS in the benchmark. Next up, Overwatch 1080p, medium settings, scaling resolution set to 100%. When I tested this with the GT1030, we only got an average FPS of 68. I did test this with the stock HD615, but I was on low settings and the rendering resolution was set all the way down at 720p, so I don't think that really counts, I didn't want to put it in here. With the 1050 Ti, as you can see there's a lot going on here, we are averaging, it's going down a little bit, 87, 86, 85, 85 FPS on average. And finally, GTA 5. Now this is a game where it's really stressing out this tiny little CPU. Even if we added a bigger card than the 1050 Ti, I don't think we're going to see much of a gain here. This is on normal settings, 1080p. With the GT 1030, we get an average of 51 FPS. And with the 1050, we're right around 60. So we're really stressing the CPU out. If we had a little more power out of it, we could make this 1050 Ti perform much better than the 1030. But we're kind of bottlenecked here by the CPU and GTA 5. And finally, Fortnite, because so many people asked me. Now, I don't personally play this game anymore. 1080p, all high settings, but I do have shadows off. We're averaging 94 FPS. So 
So does it make sense to throw a card like this on a small single board computer? No, but it can be done and that's why I made this video here. I had a lot of people asking me about it. I do have one more higher end GPU. It's only a GTX 1066 gigabyte. I've been trying to get my hands on a 1080 Ti or even a new 280, but I seriously don't want to fork out the cash right now. I've been happy with my GTX 1060. I can do pretty much everything at 1080p and it just works fine for me. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in checking out more Latte Panda Alpha videos, they're on screen now, and I'm leaving a playlist in the description. I do want to move on to some other operating systems like Linux and even OS X. I was able to install Mojave. Now I'm just trying to get the GPU working correctly, and I'll do a video on that. I also want to do some Laka, maybe some Pato Serra, and some Recall Box on this thing, just to see what we can run on here. Even Android x86 will be pretty cool. So stay tuned to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.